Hello everyone, how's it going? This is Madman Reviews with an episode about some really great guns. What makes them so great? First, this type of gun won the Wild West for America. And second, they're in the best caliber there is. Yes, we're talking about the 357 Magnum Lever Action Rifles. Granted, the 357 Magnum came when the Wild West was already conquered, leashed, and tamed. However, the Lever Action Rifle was the one go-to rifle that was used in the process. Mating this great system with the 357 Magnum made only sense. It's a caliber that has proven itself time and again, so combining it with the action rifle that has proven itself time and again is only normal. The 357 Magnum was in widespread use by law enforcement and many self-defense shooters before the 9mm pushed itself onto the scene. Even today, many people trust its power, and that's for good reason. Its records show that it stopped attackers with only one hit in 90-96% to 96 of the cases, depending on the ammunition used. This elevates it over most of the other rounds that are out there. The one exception is the 44 Magnum, which manages a 90 to 91 percent record of one hit stops. Why the rifle then? The rifle with its longer barrel pushes a 357 Magnum to new heights of performance. Also in the Wild West, the lever action was commonly used in the same caliber and with the same cartridge as your revolver. This way, your ammo could fit in both. For the 357 Magnum, this brings added advantages. Not only does the rifle push it up to 600 feet per second faster out of the barrel with an extra 500 feet pounds of energy, it can also do what the revolver does. That is, it can also feed 38 special rounds. Okay, this might not always go that smooth, but it does go. But what about the tactical coolness factors, some might ask? Eh, for that, there are two answers. The 357 Magnum is a common self-defense round. Finding hollow points for it's no problem and much easier than for 223 or 556 by 45 millimeter. Also, you want rails for all the bells and whistles. There are 357 Magnum lever action rifles that got them too, so you won't miss out on anything. And what about hunting? Of course, hunting is a special challenge. I mean, there are 9mm rounds that are used for hunting, so why should it not be possible to hunt with 357 Magnum? In fact, many do use their revolvers, as a rifle gives them more energy. It should be able to do the same and be better at it. That having been said, now is the time to dive into the good old rifles that can bring the mighty 357 Magnum to even greater performance. As always, all the links to the products are in the description. Winchester Model 1892 Carbine. This is as much classed as you can get. The Winchester 1892 was designed by John Browning in just two weeks. The aim was to get an answer to the Marlin 1888. When it comes to tactic cool, this rifle might disappoint you. Its stop ejection pretty much rules out scopes and rails. However, if you are really into firearms, especially the ones of the Wild West, this one is for you. Intended for fast shooting and medium ranges, it has pretty much shown its superior abilities for more than a century. Coming with a round barrel, it sports a blue steel furniture and a black walnut stock. The 20-inch barrel is long enough to allow a tubular magazine with a capacity of 10 rounds. With all of that, it's not even terribly heavy weighing, only 6 pounds. This makes it easy to carry in your hand. What you have to, as there is nothing to attach a sling. Of course, the original model has been slightly updated to make it safer to handle. This includes a falling block safety. This means you can carry it with a round in the chamber and without having to worry about an accidental discharge. The MSRP stands at $1,069. This makes it neither very cheap nor terribly expensive. Given that you do need to buy expensive accessories and an array of magazines, it's actually quite decently priced. And do not forget, you get the good old Hammer 357 Magnum with it. Winchester 1873. Here it comes. The one, the only, the great, the first, and the most popular of all time. The gun that won the West. The Winchester 1873. This gun has a history that can and does fill books. Alone, it made calibers bear witness to it. It's been offered in 44, 40, 32, 20, and 38, 40. It even went out of production, but it came back and now it makes its appearance in 357 Magnum and 38 Special. The today's model comes with a hammer block safety. Though, that you have a round in the chamber without endangering yourself and your surroundings. It has a checkered grip, a colored case hardened finish, and a barrel that is 24 and a half inches long. This gun is a classic par excellent, and this makes it also a little bit pricey. It comes at $1,800, so it's a bit more aimed at real aficionados of the good old days and the occasional shooter. If you can appreciate the history this gun stands for, then go get it. Henry Big Boy Classic The Henry Big Boy Classic is an original, as you can get if you do not want to go for the 44 rimfire. It comes with an octagonal barrel that is 20 inch long and the good old buckhorn rear sights. This makes it look and feel like the original Wild West. The 20 inch barrel allows for a 10 round mag and sports a brass bead front sight. There's also a steel version out there if you worry about scratches on the brass. For the fans of Tactic Cool, it is tapped for a scope or a rail. The MSRP is $972, but you can find it cheaper in the shop. Marlin 1894 CSB. 
Marlin improved on the Winchester action, which led to an updated receiver and their Model 1894 built around it. The siding top changes to a sidewall that also brings the ejection from the top to the sides. This saves your eyes and forehead from unwanted encounter with hot spent brass. Also, it has more than welcome side effect of allowing a scope to be mounted on top. The barrel has a length of 16 inches, which allows for a magazine of 8 shot below. It comes in stainless steel and a laminate stock. With a weight of 6.5 pounds, it's easy to carry. Not only that, you can also attach a sling to make it even more comfortable. Of course, it comes with a hammer block safety, which allows you to carry it loaded and ready for action. A large loop makes it easy and fast to cycle the action. With an MSRP at $1,214, it combines the best of the old and the new. Marlin Model 1894 CST. Here comes the Marlin Model 1894 CST. It resembles a CSB model in the way that it also has a 16-inch barrel and an 8-round magazine. Also comes with a large loop and you can attach a sling to it. So, why care for it then? If it comes with a barrel that is threaded, you can now add a suppressor if you're so inclined. For that, the MSRP stands at $1,223. There you have it guys, the perfect gun meets the perfect caliber. What a nice beauty it has become. Hit the like button, do not forget to subscribe and... See you next time.